deep in the heart of the woods, where the sun barely shines, there stands a house shrouded in mystery and darkness. This isn't your typical neighborhood dwelling. No, this house is different. It sits isolated, a beacon of foreboding amidst the dense forest, a relic of a bygone era, untouched by time and human presence. An inexplicable chill permeates the air around it, as if the very atmosphere is warning you of the unseen terrors that lie within. The silence is unsettling, broken only by the occasional rustle of leaves, a whisper from the past. Even the bravest of hearts feel a sense of unease, a prickling at the back of their neck, a shiver down their spine. This is no mere house. It's a testament to the unknown, to the things that lurk in the shadows when the world sleeps. A place where the living and the dead seem to cross paths, an unseen presence lurks in the shadows. The house, as old as time itself, whispers stories of its past. Nestled in the heart of the woods, this weathered edifice was once a beacon of opulence and grandeur. Built over two centuries ago, it was the brainchild of a wealthy merchant who sought solace in its secluded embrace. Yet from its inception, an air of unease seemed to hang over it like a shroud. The merchant, a man of ambition and vigour, found his dreams shattered within these very walls. His once prosperous trade dwindled, his riches evaporated, and he was left with nothing but the echoing silence of the expansive rooms. His untimely demise marked the first of many tragedies that would befall the residents of this house. The property passed through many hands, each owner adding their own chapter to the house's sombre history. There was the renowned pianist who lost her ability to play, the fervent poet who could no longer pen a line, and the loving family torn apart by inexplicable events. Their lives, once brimming with hope and joy, were reduced to mere whispers of despair within this haunted house. As the years rolled on, the house fell into disrepair. Its once vibrant walls faded, its grandeur lost to time and neglect. The once bustling house stood empty, abandoned, as if the very soul of the house had been extinguished. The laughter and music that once filled its halls were replaced by an eerie silence, punctuated only by the occasional creak of a door or the hushed whispers of the wind. The house, once a symbol of prosperity, became an emblem of sorrow and dread. The tales of its past residents, their dreams crushed and lives overshadowed by tragedy, became the stuff of local folklore. And so the house was left to the mercy of the elements, its stories untold, its secrets unshared. Each brick, each creaking door, each window holds a tale of sorrow and terror. The house, now a spectral entity in the heart of the woods, continues to whisper its stories, echoing the tragedies of its past through the hollow silence of its halls. In the dead of night, when the moon is the only source of light, the house comes alive with ghostly whispers. This house, nestled deep within the woods, has been the setting of countless tales of terror, each more hair-raising than the last. Those who have dared to cross its threshold report an unease that grips them the moment they step inside, an inexplicable chill, a sense of dread that seems to seep from the very walls. They speak of strange sounds that echo through the hollow chambers, a cacophony of distant wails and hushed whispers that reach a crescendo in the witching hour. Stories abound of spectral figures that flit through the rooms, their ghostly visages caught in the corner of one's eye, only to disappear when looked upon directly. Visitors recount the constant feeling of being watched, of unseen eyes tracking their every move. The air within the house is said to be thick with unease, a tension that never quite dissipates. There's an oppressive heaviness that lingers, as if the house itself is holding its breath, watching waiting. One chilling account tells of a phantom hand that reached out from the darkness, its icy touch sending shivers down the spine of the unfortunate soul who felt it. Another speaks of a child's laughter echoing through the halls, a sound that should bring joy. Instead it brings fear. Each story adds fuel to the fire, painting a vivid picture of a house that seems to be steeped in an otherworldly aura, a place where the line between the living and the dead seems to blur, where every creaking floorboard or flickering shadow fuels the imagination and sends the heart racing. These tales of terror are not for the faint-hearted. They serve as a chilling reminder of the house's dark history and its lingering presence. 
They're a testament to the eerie energy that pervades this house. A chilling echo of a past that refuses to stay buried. Every tale, every account adds another layer to the horror that is this house. Beyond the tales and the terror, there lies a haunting truth. The chill you feel down your spine, the whisper you hear when alone, the shadow that flits in the corner of your eye. All these are not mere figments of imagination, but a deeper, darker reality that thrives in the heart of the woods. Many theories abound, attempting to explain the supernatural activities that plague this forsaken dwelling. Some point towards the realm of folklore, citing tales passed down through generations. They speak of ancient rituals, of a curse laid by a scorned witch, of a pact made with darker forces. These tales, woven into the fabric of local history, give a chilling context to the eerie occurrences within the house. Local legends, too, play their part in this spectral narrative. They hold that the house was built atop sacred ground, a resting place for spirits. The house, they say, is not haunted, but rather it's the land itself that harbours the restless spirits, and the house is merely their stage. Then there are scientific theories offering a rational perspective amidst the supernatural chaos. Some propose that the house's location amidst dense woods causes unusual electromagnetic fields, leading to hallucinations and a sense of dread. Others suggest the presence of infrasound, a low-frequency sound that can induce feelings of fear and discomfort, mirroring the sensations experienced by those who venture into the house. But no matter the theory, one fact remains undisputed. The house is a nexus of inexplicable phenomena, a place where the veil between our world and the unseen realm seems perilously thin. It's a place where whispers echo from the void, where shadows dance with a life of their own, where the air is heavy with a presence that defies understanding. The house, it seems, is a portal between our world and the one beyond. Today, the house stands tall, a monument of terror and mystery. It has withstood the test of time and weather, each passing year only adding to its eerie allure. Its once vibrant paint has faded to a haunting grey, and the once lush garden is now overgrown with thorny bushes and untamed vines. Yet despite its disrepair, the house exudes a chilling presence that is impossible to ignore. The house, now abandoned, has become a beacon for thrill-seekers and paranormal enthusiasts from around the globe. They come in droves, equipped with torchlights and cameras, eager to document the unexplainable phenomena that the house is infamous for. Footsteps echoing in the empty halls, whispers in the dead of night, chilling draughts in windowless rooms. These are but a few of the oddities that visitors have reported experiencing. Yet not everyone is drawn to the house. For the locals, the house is a symbol of fear and superstition. They avoid it at all costs, crossing the street when they have to pass it, and praying for protection if they find themselves near it after sundown. The house, they say, is cursed, and to step inside is to invite the unknown into your life. The house's reputation as a haunted location has also caught the attention of numerous paranormal investigators. They have spent countless hours within its walls attempting to communicate with the spirits believed to inhabit the place. Their findings, while inconclusive, have only fueled the intrigue surrounding the house. Yet despite the countless stories and investigations, the house remains an enigma. Its secrets are locked away within its decaying walls and dark, dusty corners. It stands as an unyielding testament to the past, a past filled with fear, mystery and the unknown. It is a place where the line between the living and the dead is blurred, and where every creak and rustle is a reminder of its haunted history. The house in its silence continues to be a chilling reminder of its haunted past. In the end, one can't help but wonder, is the house truly haunted, or is it all just a figment of our imagination? This house, shrouded in mystery and steeped in history, has become the inspiration for countless tales of terror. Its past, a rich tapestry woven with stories of sorrow, terror and the unexplained, leaves us questioning the boundaries of reality. The chilling accounts of ghostly apparitions, eerie noises, an unending sense of dread felt by those who dared to step inside are compelling, to say the least. Some believe these to be mere tales spun by imaginative minds, 
while others firmly hold them as evidence of the house's haunting. Various theories have been put forth to explain the supernatural phenomena associated with the house. From residual hauntings to intelligent spirits, these theories attempt to demystify the house's eerie aura. But the haunting truth remains elusive. As the sun sets and darkness descends, the house whispers its stories, waiting for the next brave soul to listen.